Hey there, my name is Oscar Bashaw. In today's video, I'm going to show you how we built a pipeline forecasting app for our sales team that gives them the ability to manage opportunities, make forecasts, and get better visibility into the deals in their pipeline. The problem that we're trying to solve here is that a lot of times when sales managers or sales leaders are looking at deals in their pipeline, they have to go to many different places to get the information they need to make an accurate forecast. So if you've got data coming from the CRM, product usage data living in a BI tool, as well as Gong or another kind of call recording service in addition to a note tracking service, you've got three or four, maybe five different sources of information that you have to balance between to kind of consolidate that and get an accurate picture of a deal. What we've done here is use the power of AI to give sales leaders and sales reps the ability to ask questions about a deal and get answers that use that context in order to drive a more accurate forecast. So I'll jump in and show you how this works. On this homepage, we have some top level metrics or summary view for a manager, like their bookings, their quota, their current pipeline, as well as the deals that are in their commit or best case for their team. And also some forecasts that they have for the different reps in their team down below. Where I want to focus though, is maybe the deals where the team isn't aligned. This is where my forecast as a manager isn't the same as the forecast from the rep. And there's some amount of risk there. So moving over to this inspection panel, I can see the actual deal board and the deals that make up that category. Each deal has some information about it, like the stage, the ACV amount, the close date, et cetera, et cetera, as well as the reps forecast category and my forecast category. Now I can come in and edit this if I want to, but I don't know if it should be in commit or best case. Usually to get a better understanding of this, I would go and bounce between those different sources. But in Sigma, because we're live on top of the cloud data warehouse and can harness any data that exists there, I can actually show the details for this opportunity that I've built. So here we have data from the CRM. We have some call activity over the last month or so, showing that we have a lot of calls with them that have good sentiment, kind of colored there in green. Moving down, we can actually see the product usage details from our application. Now, additionally, something that I might want to do is kind of ask, okay, have we talked about pricing yet? Have we met their success criteria? Is there any tech risk? And to answer those questions, I'd usually have to go back, watch a recording, talk to the rep, or dig through notes in Salesforce, all things that are time consuming. If I'm a manager and I'm doing that with five, 10, or 20 deals that I'm not so familiar with, that can take a lot of time. So we found a way to make that experience a bit more streamlined using the power of AI. What I have here is the ability to ask a question, like, do we have the tech win? And I'll get a response from an LLM in the warehouse that uses actual data about that opportunity that lives in the warehouse. So here it appears that we have the strong technical win for the Alta deal. They've mentioned some uh, great success criteria that we've hit and the pains that are being resolved, et cetera, et cetera. And so in a matter of seconds, I'm able to get a specific answer to my question that it uses actual context from that deal, from call transcripts or from, from deal notes from the rep. Maybe I can ask, are there any security concerns? And in the same fashion, I'll get the answer back in real time. So it seems like we have a meeting with the head of security to get approvals for the POC. So in this way, I've saved myself a lot of time as a sales leader, having to go back to different sources and uh, answer my questions that way. I built it into one experience here. So let's jump under the hood and actually see how this works. I'm going to come into edit my workbook and show the under the hood. If I come into this uh, deal board, then I'll go to the Alter retail deal. This is that pop-up that we just saw. Now I'm on the page where we've kind of built this pop-up. We can see that we have the different components here. And then down at the bottom, we have our question, which is just a simple text input in Sigma, a text control. And then we have our response. So this response is a table element. What we're doing is we have a column that references this Databricks RAG Assistant function. It passes in the question from the user, which is just that box there, as well as the opportunity ID that we've selected um, based on which deal we clicked on. Now, what we're actually doing here is referencing a custom function in Sigma. This custom function is a wrapper around a more complex function definition that gives me the ability to use this simple syntax wherever I want to. I'll move over here to the definition for this custom function, and we can see under the hood what it's doing. 
So the name is the Databricks RAG Assistant. This is calling a, a RAG model that I've built in Databricks. It answers questions about a specific sales op. And I have two arguments. I have my question and I have the opportunity ID. Now the actual definition of what we're doing here is using a pass-through function from Sigma to call a function that lives in the warehouse. In this case, we've exposed our RAG model in Databricks via this RAG Assistant UDF. And it lives in this pipeline forecasting schema in the SE database. So we're passing in the question and the opportunity good, and that's going to give us a text response that we then pass back to the user. So this ability to make functions look really easy with the custom functions is super powerful because it means that you can increase the adoption of AI and ML workloads that live in your warehouse for end users who don't know how to reference them, but you can make it as easy as calling a sum or an average. So moving back out to my published view here, just to recap, we were able to decrease the amount of risk in our pipeline by giving sales leaders and sales reps the ability to ask questions about deals and get answers back in real time, consolidating a process that might take three or four different tools and a larger amount of time. So thanks for watching. Feel free to try this out via our free trial or one of our templates.